Hello everyone and welcome back to Filmbook Review, an official YouTube channel of Filmbook. Featured in Google News, IMDb's news desk, and a member of the Critics' Choice Association, Filmbook is an entertainment industry news website that reports on the film and television show industries in the United States and across the world. Today on Filmbook Review, I'll be reviewing the film Land of Dreams, a movie that screened at the 2022 Tribeca Film Festival. Land of Dreams is directed by Soja Azari and Shirin Neshat, written by Soja Azari and Jean-Claude Carrier, and stars Sheila Van, Matt Dillon, William Mosley, Isabella Rossellini, and Anne Gunn. This is a Land of Films movie review, and there will be spoilers. If you like our movie reviews, please like this Land of Dreams film review, as that helps us out with YouTube's algorithm and consider subscribing. Once subscribed, click the bell notification box, and you are all set. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash filmbook. And now, the Land of Dreams movie review. Directors Shoja Azari and Shirin Neshat build a complex series of early scenes in the beautifully made, but very deep, new picture, Land of Dreams. Anchored by Sheila Vance's multifaceted performance, this picture succeeds as a whole on many levels while not always achieving guaranteed audience satisfaction in terms of its key plot revelations. Nevertheless, the performances from some of the most intriguing performers of the past 25 years are all fascinating, with Matt Dillon coming up with his best performance since his turn in the award-winning Crash. Other fine actors on board in smaller roles include Joaquim de Almeida, who was in 1994's Clear and Present Danger. As the film opens, we meet an Iranian woman named Simon with a mysterious past who works for the U.S. Census Bureau. One of her jobs is to ask her subjects to vividly detail their dreams. She doesn't know why she's doing this, but Simon also collects photographs of those who reveal their innermost dreams to her. Early on, a blonde woman she interviews is posing with her husband for a picture, but Simon won't take the husband's picture because he has not revealed his dreams to her. He refuses to, for whatever reason. Simon thus takes a snapshot of simply the woman by herself. Simon seems to want to emulate this woman and turns herself from a brunette to a blonde briefly and actually impersonates this lady she has just visited. Matt Dillon portrays Alan, Simon's rather annoying, dorky bodyguard who pops up in the movie at given intervals. Alan would be simply comic relief in a lesser movie, but as played by Dillon, Alan becomes one of the most important characters in the film. Dylan adds his signature charm to the role, but it's different from any other part he's ever been in. This character does a lot to propel the film from certain scenes to other scenes, and it's to Dylan's credit, but he never falters in his performance. Also starring in the movie is William Mosley in a pivotal role as a poet named Mark, the man who falls in love at first sight with Simon, and that's a notion that Simon seems to believe in whether she wants to be with him or not. Robin Bartlett serves as Mark's mom, and... In one of the most visually offbeat scenes in the picture, we see her own personal dream come to life in a nightmarish fashion. This part of the movie stands out from some other scenes as one of the most haunting sequences in the admittedly very odd at times film. Land of Dreams is unapologetic in the way it takes shots at its small town subjects. What are these dreams and what is the real purpose behind what they provide for those asking about them? It's a brave and unique picture, and the cinematography is haunting as the beautiful scenery takes flight and sometimes takes over the screen from its stars. This is especially true in the closing scenes of the movie, where photographs are laid out in a cinematic, appealing fashion. Van's character is the catalyst for the action. If it weren't for her inquisitive nature, the themes that come into fruition wouldn't occur throughout the film. While the movie explores her family history and what has led her to the mission she embarks on in the film, it delves deep into the political climate the story finds itself immersed in. Isabella Rossellini from Blue Velvet comes into the picture with another of the film's most memorable performances as a loud woman named Jane, who is shot in a way that suggests the movie could have been filmed during the pandemic. Rossellini is nothing short of breathtaking, and it's great to see her working again as she makes the most of her moments in this fascinating film. Due to the film's futuristic setting, there are probably more questions than answers which are raised during the course of the picture about why a person's dreams could be deemed noteworthy to the degree that they would matter in terms of helping create a functioning society. 
The movie ends with the great hypnotizing cigarettes after sex song, Apocalypse, which is fitting for the dreamlike state the picture presents to the audience throughout. While listening to the song again, I recalled scenes of this film in my head and concluded that they added up to an interesting whole, though I may have wanted a bit more. But is that a bad thing? And that brings us to the conclusion of this Land of Dreams movie review. I would love to hear your thoughts on it below in the comment section. If you liked what you heard during this review, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Please also visit and subscribe to our podcast channel at Filmbook Podcast and our trailer and reaction channel at Filmbook Trailers. Thank you for viewing, and you can watch one of these reviews next.